Howdy, 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 my beautiful Sagittarius. How are you doing today, darling? Let's get into your weekly, girl, let's get into your weekly tarot reading here for September and see what's going to be happening for you. All right, let's make some predictions for you here today, Sagittarius. If you enjoy this tarot reading, be sure to le check out the link on the top right hand corner of your screen, darling, for your monthly pick a card reading. I always enjoy doing those. Maybe something will resonate. Check out your sun, moon, rising, as well as your Venus sign, Sagittarius, and give this video a like and subscribe. Let's get started here. All right, Sagittarius, Queen of Swords energy. Ooh, okay, Sagittarius, okay. I feel bad for anyone that gets in your way. I feel bad for anyone that pisses you off, darling. All right, I like this energy for you guys. And my regulars already know, Sagittarius, all right? Let them know in the comments, Sagittarius, that I'm usually pretty hard when I, on critical people when I have this Queen of Swords energy. But to me here, Sagittarius, it's like someone is like pushing their final button here. It's like, I see this as like the feather that's breaking the candle back here where you are just I don't know I see this sense of like a blow up where you're finally taking a stand all right I want to just again I feel bad for anyone Sagittarius that chooses to mess with you here king of swords energy as well all right divine counterpart energy here so the reason why I like this energy a lot with the queen of swords initially there Sagittarius is because I get this sense for you where it's just like your backbone is like straightened up more your I see confidence coming in here something's gonna be what causes you to have this queen of swords to a girl you cannot make this up <laughs> Sagittarius hello Low with this two of cups energy and then that divine counterpart with the king and queen of swords coming in here someone's going to be making you feel like a million bucks all right and i don't care and then afterwards hello four of wands coming in all right someone's going to be making you feel like a million bucks here sagittarius all right and i don't just mean in love all right it definitely with these cards here i easily could see for my singles out there sagittarius like love coming in for you but i also just get the sense of where it's just like soul tribe right you have that four of wands and while yes that four of wands can represent sagittarius like marriage and companionship and all that but it's also a card of like having like your people finding people that actually understand you after such a long period of a weight all right you're going to be uh, having your uh path aligned with people it's almost like the sense sagittarius i'm gonna go out on the limb here and say that you might have been noticing you you starting to distance yourself or like certain relationships in your life have been starting to like distance apart from you and them and i feel like your next like best friend or your next person is coming right the next person that you're going to be spending a lot of time with all right. And that, again, that can look in many shapes and forms, uh, Sagittarius. But I really want to lean. And then afterwards, come on, Sagittarius, the Hierophant. You can look these cards up yourself, Sagittarius. All right. Like, I am not the usual type of person that's like, oh, marriage, uh, da, soulmate, twin flames, ah. Uh. But like, with this Hierophant energy, this is also a card known, can be known for the card of marriage here. That's why I just see like your next best friend, especially for those that have started to notice how you and like your, the person you're connected with are just starting to like the emotions are starting to fade maybe you're not t uh, messaging each other as much anymore recently like that's because like the new person's coming in here your next best friend your next lover here if it is a if it is a romantic relationship type of way i feel like they are very similar to you they compliment you in a lot of ways there but definitely someone makes you feel like a million bucks here sagittarius all right. And then the Page of Cups. Sagittarius. Holy crap. <laughs> and if we get like the lover's card after this, you're getting every single card talking about people. Sagittarius talking about new people entering your life. All right. I'm not usually one that will make readings about like relationships. In fact, I usually try to stray away from it. I'll mention it if I see it, but like I try to not make it about that. But all, your cards are literally just screaming out to me where it's like your spiritual team is just like no no velka we gotta let sagittarius know their next person's coming in here and that's something that many of you guys just need like again i don't i don't feel like super strong romance in this and it could just be my own bias but i just get this sense of where it's like you're wanting i think it more so just represents sagittarius like the sense of companionship that you're wanting like you don't want to even put a label to it you just want to be around another person that validates you and makes you feel good makes you realize that you're not so alone in this world that there are other people that think and are like you that's how i see this as right and with that page of cups talking about new people coming into your life here 
Sagittarius, I mean, come on. Even in the back of the deck afterwards is the Page of Wands. Pages represents new energy. It represents news coming forward to you. Page of Wands, Page of Cups energy here, that literally represents the opportunity for a really valuable connection coming in here this is not just like a any like a surface level connection Sagittarius this is like I don't know how it's to really express like the depth that this would have like I'm low-key kind of jealous of you <laughs> Sagittarius like I'm low-key just like ooh, I wish I was a Saggy right now because I see this and I just see this as like y'all i don't know i see you spending a lot of time with this person i see you guys doing the same thing maybe you guys play video games together or something like that but i feel like you guys there's this is this person really adds so much value into your life that it's like not to say that your world your life revolves around them but it's like so much of your life is very quickly going to involve them in some way right knight of swords coming in here all right under this two of cups coming in sagittarius right and so what i would be saying with this person for one this person's coming in on this in the earlier parts of september for you rather than the later parts that is for a fact there right because this is the fastest moving night but i would say when it comes to this person initially sagittarius this connection might come in and you might be initially kind of i don't want to say you're turned off by them but be i feel like you know how people say it's like oh love at first sight and da 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 like i don't feel like it's love at first sight but it's just like there's like a feeling that you have with this person that you can't quite explain it's not positive it's not negative but you're kind of like i'm gonna read this situation i'm gonna read this person out a little bit more they're different or it's just like something about them that you or i don't want to like i i'll say like has you on guard but i don't want to instill like a negative like energy to this because it's not like a negative being like oh like i don't know if i can trust this person it's just like that you're more so it's like this person's different this person's like i can't quite get a read on them right death card coming in here with the sun card all right so this is going to be in two ways here sagittarius it's, again this really f uh fits into the message of where it's just like especially for those that recently have noticed like you starting to lose contact with like your close friendships your relationship like i feel like i really do feel like it's not a message i like to say but it's just reality that's just a human life right um I feel like there's some relationship in your life that you may not even want to fully admit or put words to because um, I do feel like this is going to be like a sobering moment for some of you Sagittariuses but you're noticing certain people that you you've been with you shared a life with this could be e easily like a childhood friend even or a friend that you've lived a lot of life with you learned a lot with here I feel i see this initially as where it's just like the closing of that connection coming in like what puts the final nail in the coffin for this sagittarius is that this knight of swords where it's just like your time and like i don't get fight or anything like that this is more so like one of those extremely organic extremely as healthy as you're going to get when it comes to social interactions like this sagittarius where it's just like you're going to notice certain connections starting to distance you two just distancing off and you just no longer like you kind of forget about them or you no longer put energy towards them anymore because you have this other connection that comes in and then i don't want to say sweeps you off your feet but it's just like a sense of where like it's just a really good connection right when you really hit it off with someone that understands you it's just like for a little bit like you spend so much time with them right page of swords coming in here this is your third page only page that we haven't gotten for you yet is the pentacles all right page of swords page of cups queen of swords energy this is yeah initially what i see this as Sagittarius where it's just like y'all see each other from across the room you see each other from across the room and I don't I don't I don't I can't really speak on their perspective here because it's kind of hard to hone in on an energy like this um the vaguity of it but it's like you see each other from across the room so definitely you guys share some type of environment together could be a work environment could be easily work environment I feel actually I feel like it is like a good chunk you either meet them at work like you're working with them or it's like what you do for work your path crosses with them maybe you're a bagger maybe Maybe you're a waiter or a waitress and that's how you meet them you know but it's like that initial is like y'all are very like when you when you they, you when y'all are in the same room with one another y'all are very aware of each other's presences that's how i'll put that as but there isn't an initial connection or like communication i feel 
that happens like i feel like it's more so like you both kind of are just like who who is this who is this queen of swords right who is this king of swords like you both are trying to figure each other out and get a read on one another so i don't feel like this is something that initially just like blossoms and blows up you know the fantastical love stories that sometimes are uh <laughs> posted but um <laughs> i feel like this is just a good connection coming in here i like it a lot here i don't really there's nothing really a red flag that i'm noticing with this i even feel drawn to being like critiquing on to be honest here sagittarius this all just feels wholesome i will say three of wands page of wands king of swords energy i will say sagittarius you are going to be receptive of them first before they are of you so i do feel like you need to go forward if you have a suspicion about someone be like you know what is this who velka was talking about i would say lean into it more all right lean into it more because i do feel like they will be responding to you all right but there there might be that initial sense here i see with that um three of wands uh sagittarius where it's like you might need to you know get get the go, get it started right get the get the train chugging first and then it'll start choo chewing without your help <laughs> i don't know where that came from <laughs> but yeah it's just like get the train started when you notice it, it's just like it doesn't even have to be like you know just you know immediately just talking to them but just make your presence more um have your presence just be around them more all right so it entices them to communicate eight of pentacles coming in why with the ace of cups coming in okay so that's what the, that's what this is about sagittarius all right this is like unless i i never usually have my general tarot readings just be focused on social things but that's literally your entire story right now like that's the next thing that y'all need to have awareness about i suppose eight of pentacles with this ace of cups coming in here all right the reason why i'm talking so much about love i mean not love i mean love in the sense of romantic or platonic you know you can love a friend anyways i digress the reason why this has been so socially focused relationship focused for you sagittarius is because you, this is a time this is a period of where you i feel like most maybe i'm alone in this maybe i'm projecting but i feel like you always go through certain periods where it's just like you end up detaching or distancing from a lot of relationships in your life so you have to go through those phases of where it's just like socially like things just you know you keep losing friends or just distancing and then you'll also go through phases where it's just like connections just come in and it's just like all sorts of new connections that you don't have the time for right and i feel like this is one of those times for you sagittarius where it's just like spirit is saying she's like all right it's time for sagittarius to upgrade social connections here and this has been happening for a while now right because friendships and connections don't just you you know overnight usually like go silent right this has been a progressive thing you definitely have known about this for a while you've noticed it maybe you haven't put words to it maybe you haven't wanted to really acknowledge this sagittarius because it like freaks you out a little bit um accepting that idea but what spirit really wants to do just to calm down your nerves sagittarius is just understanding that they're like you the distance that's happening between you and your, this person that we're referencing to like it's not this you're not going to be just completely alone left to, to your own devices right you definitely will have assistance here right literally i say this and you get the meerkat card getting support from a group of like-minded friends this is literally the embodiment of the king and queen of swords is it not you know when you think about meerkats they're all in a giant community and they all look the same right and so it's like i mean can you get a better message than that and you can even look back sagittarius uh, not only because you're my last fire sign that i'm doing not only for aries and leo but also the earth signs i always was just doing three sets of like three cards for my both my moon oracle decks and for some reason i wanted to do one of uh, animal one for just you sagittarius all right like you can literally reference it i don't <laughs> it's like you're the only son i did one for <clears throat> and it's like it's such a fitting thing you have the new moon in libra know that you are loved sagittarius all right new beginnings new beginnings with relationships libra and libra is uh, associated with venus all right they're the they're the children of venus all right know that you are loved you are definitely uh sagittarius you're going to be getting some new connections here in september without a doubt last quarter moon in libra as well <laughs> could easily be a libra <laughs> sagittarius by the way which funnily enough as libra librans and sagittarians are like a match made in heaven but um two different libra cards coming in here make time for self-love know that you are loved 
and full moon in Capricorn taking a reality check here. All right. That's what I was saying. Kind of been hinting at this entire time, right? More than hinting really. Um, Sagittarius is that sense of where it's like, being honest about a situation fizzling out but you haven't wanted to give it words because then it makes it real i feel like for you it's one of those times where it's just like you know you're distancing you and your this connection are distancing has nothing to do with you has nothing to do with them it's just time for you to go into new connections right it's time to improve eight of pentacles all right, let's do your last moon oracle cards here. But this is a fabulous, really interesting, but fabulous reading, Sagittarius. I've really enjoyed doing this. All right, you have the full moon in uh, Taurus. Your dreams needing a practical plan. All right, your dreams needing a practical plan. What is this about? The moon energy. If you've been thinking about taking a risk or thinking about doing something, but you've been holding back because of like how much you would the learning curve behind it, perhaps, uh, Sagittarius, lean into it more. All right. Lean into this. It's while, yes, everything is foreign, it's still really good for you. But you do like it's like as long as you approach this with a plan, then it's like you can't lose. Well, yes, it's a foreign subject or a foreign environment for you. You can't lose. All right. I say this in the six of wands, the public recognition, the victory, the success, the fame and fortune card. Literally, my gosh, I'm so connected to y'all's energy today, Sagittarius. I love it. Full moon. And how many Libra cards are you freaking getting, Sagittarius? A uh, win-win outcome is in forecast, <laughs> Sagittarius. Can we just appreciate what it was? I was just say and i'm like wow i i'm sorry saji i just like had to take a moment just to like be present with this energy and not even like feel the need to speak because i'm i'm honestly like i've done thousands of these readings but it's like it it never like fails to like have me geeking out whenever like these connections are just new moon and gemini communication is key when these connections with the readings and the zodiacs are just so beautiful communication is key when we now come as in for like sagittarius you're gonna have to watch this reading back several times because there's so like this is such a gem of a reading truly it truly is wow <laughs> wow <laughs> all right i'm gonna end this reading here sagittarius but wow I love you so much, darling. Hopefully this is helpful. Give this video a like and subscribe and share this with a, either a Libra or a Sagittarius if you have a friend of either. All right. Love you so much, Saggy. Bye, darling.